2020 is finally behind us, and thank God because it was just awful. It's time to talk about 2021 and maybe our first glimpse at a game that we'll be getting on Nintendo Switch in the near future. Japanese video game magazine Famitsu interviewed some creators to see what they have in store for players in 2021. Curiously, Koei Tecmo teased some news regarding the approaching Fatal Frame anniversary. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce his name because I'm just going to butcher it, but I'll put it on the screen right here. He's a Koei designer and he shared the following statement when asked about his ambitions for 2021. 2020 was a year where things that were normal were no longer normal. I'd like to look at what's important and what I love once more and create a game with a fresh perspective. 2021 is also the 20th anniversary of the Fatal Frame series, so I'd like to celebrate it in some way if possible. Fatal Frame's 20th birthday could mean some awesome things. A new game in the franchise? Perhaps a collector's edition of older titles? Personally, I think it's going to be the often overlooked 2015 Wii U exclusive Fatal Frame Maiden of Blackwater. I think we're finally going to be getting a Nintendo Switch port of this title. It's one of the few Wii U exclusive that hasn't made its way to Nintendo Switch yet. And I think it's long overdue. I just recently got very intrigued by this game, so I decided to download the demo over on the Wii U eShop. I was going to buy it, but I just had a feeling that it was going to come to Switch sooner or later. And I gotta say, after playing the somewhat lengthy demo on Wii U, I really hope this game comes to Switch. Now the game did utilize the Wii U gamepad in some cool ways where you would actually use the Wii U display to shoot the enemies with your camera. Oh yeah, and that's how you kill the uh, ghosts in this game. You actually shoot them with your camera, which honestly is pretty unique. But anyway, I don't think it would be very difficult to just remove those functions and display whatever you're doing with your camera on the TV or on the Switch in portable mode. I would really love to continue playing this game. Like I said, if you still have a Wii U, you should definitely just go download the demo and check it out. I think visually, it's actually one of the better looking Wii U games. I really love the character models, I love the water in some of the environments, and from what I played, the story was actually interesting as well. So yeah, I would love if this game made its way to Switch. I'm glad I did not end up buying it on Wii you just like last month whenever I played the demo, because it seems like now there's a higher possibility of Fatal Frame Maiden of Blackwater coming to Switch this year. But let me know what you think. Do you think they're actually going to do anything with Fatal Frame's big 20th anniversary? He did say in the quote that he would like to celebrate it in some way if possible. I personally feel like he wouldn't have put a statement out there unless they had something planned. That's typically how these kind of things work. They put out a quote like that and then they get people questioning what it means. Is there going to be something coming? Building up the excitement. I think we're probably going to get some type of Fatal Frame release on Switch this year. But yeah, Happy New Year's guys. I'm very glad that 2020 is finally in the rearview mirror. We can look to the future. We can look forward to all the Nintendo announcements that are probably coming soon. I think they were holding back a lot of announcements last year whenever they did their direct many a long time ago now. We haven't gotten a real direct in quite a long time now, so I think there are some good things to come. I really want to see Bayonetta 3 and No More Heroes 3 get release dates. I'm looking forward to those games so much, and of course I would love a Zelda collection this year with it being Zelda's 35th anniversary. But I'll talk about all that stuff in a future video, you guys. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs down if you didn't, and if you enjoy videos like this or early reviews and previews on Switch games, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. See ya.